Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're listening to House of Cards. Today, the game is different. I want to gamble. Gambling is a very serious business. Is that clear? Welcome to House of Cards. Dave Weishelder with you here deep from the swamps of Jersey. we got a great show coming up for you. The Kentucky Derby is one of the sports world's premier events. It also serves as the backdrop of a great book by first-time author Mark Paul. The book is called The Greatest Gambling Story Ever Told, A True Tale of Three Gamblers, The Kentucky Derby, and The Mexican Cartel. Coming up, we're going to hear all about this amazing story from the author himself, Mark Paul. So stick around. We'll be right back with House of Cards. Best slip is empty. I gotta call KG. KG, what I up? I got nothing for you, Fox. Ah, oh, come on. What you got, huh? And it's spa day, Jamie. You don't interrupt spa day. Ah, okay. Gracie, what's up? I need some tips. Jamie, you want a tip? Yeah. No. Come on, somebody. Jalen, what's up, man? You want a tip? Yeah. You really want a tip? I really need some tips. Don't call somebody on live TV. Jamie Foxx. Well, you like answered. Saying, have other friends anyway. Marshawn, Barry, holla. Jamie Foxx. Hey, what's up with it, Foxx? Listen, I need some tips. I'm like L.A. L.A.? No, 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 Dallas. Dallas, Dallas. 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 Dall
at the racetrack. We were members of the turf club. You had to, you know, make a reservation to get in, and the place was packed, and there were beautiful women and hats, and it was a scene at the track. And there was this filly uh, in 1987 named Winning Colors, and she was winning all of her races dominantly. And she was owned by Eugene Klein, who owned the uh, San Diego Chargers a professional football team. And he was getting on in years. He'd had a heart attack. We saw an interview, and they asked me, he said, Mr. Klein, you own this horse. Winning Colors is winning all of her races by, you know, open legs, and you also own a professional football team. Mr. Klein, if you could win the Super Bowl, you could win the Kentucky Derby, which would you take? He says, oh, I would definitely take the Derby. At the time, there's 26 professional football teams. One of them is going to win, and there's 40,000 horses born every year. It's so much harder to win the Derby. I'd win the Derby. And so my buddy and I go, you know what? This guy's had a heart attack. He's a billionaire. His dream in life is to win the Kentucky Derby. I bet maybe he puts this filly in against the boys in the Derby. That's, mind you, uh, Dave, this is six months before the race. Mm -hmm. So we say, all right, what can we get in the futures? What, what, what odds can we find? And we see she's 12, only 12 to 1 in Las Vegas. And we keep searching. We find out she's 50 to 1 in this little honky racetrack down in Tijuana called Agua Caliente. It's 50 to 1. So we go down and we, <laughs> we, we bet our asses off on her 51. Uh, in Mexico, if you can believe that. <laughs> you know, I, I got to tell you, what struck me from reading the book and even listening to the story you, you just told is your love and knowledge of the horse racing business. What got you interested in the horse racing business and the behind-the-scenes aspect of the sport? Oh, man. I first went to the track. I was 14 years old. <clears throat> and a lot of horse players will tell you this. When I walked in... Uh, to Santa Anita at 14 years old. That was it. That was the greatest place I'd ever seen. I, I just fell in love with horse racing. The whole idea that you could pick up a past performances and study it and, and try to figure out who the winners are going to be. And then the excitement of, you know, you're, you're outdoors and the, and the horses and the people and the screaming. And it's such a beautiful sport. And then when you can put money on it at the same time, I, I was totally, totally hooked. And, you know, that's, I've heard that from a lot of horse players. It's like it's kind of like a gene. You either you get exposed to the racetrack, you either have it or you, you either fall in love with it, or you, it's not going to work for you. But for me, that was it. You you know, uh, reading the book, you know, in the center of the story is Winning Colors, and uh, Winning Colors is a filly, and and they don't really do well in the Kentucky Derby. It's very rare that they actually win. What did you and your friend Dino see in Winning Colors? that made you really think, you know, this horse has a shot? Well, we were, we were probably stupid at the time and didn't know it. I mean, the fact is that a, that a filly, a female had only won the Derby twice uh, in 114 years. <laughs> and, you know, these cr crazy gamblers we are, we think that this filly can win. But it, she was unique in that she was, her nickname was the Amazon. She weighed nearly 1,200 pounds. Um, it was kind of funny, you know, in the Derby, everybody thought, oh, well, you know, this little petite filly can't go against these ginormous, big, you know, dead colts. And the fact is that she was the biggest horse in the race, and she outweighed, outweighed almost every other horse in the race by 200 pounds. So, you know, we thought that she had a real chance to this. Okay, hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. See you on the other side. Drizzly makes it easy to shop a huge selection of beer, wine, and liquor from wherever I am. I just open the app, find what I want, and it's at my door in under 60 minutes. Drizzly. Ding dong, Drizzly. You're listening to House of Cards. Your Majesty, the royal wrestlers await. I'll bet on the little guy. How much? 3,000 guineas, two geese, and a duck. That's a foul bet.
Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishaddle with you. House of Cards is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Slots, table games, live dealer games, everything you love about Atlantic City and Vegas, all online at BetMGM. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code TURNPIKE, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code TURNPIKE at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. For those of you just joining us, I am talking with Mark Paul, author of the book The Great Greatest gambling story ever told, a true tale of three gamblers, the Kentucky Derby, and the Mexican cartel. Sorry about that. Radio has to do its business, you know. Why don't you continue what you were saying before the break? And when we found out that, you know, they were going to offer us 50 to 1 on her, we bet our, but mind you, we bet on her like six months before the race. But, but the problem really came, Dave, in that <clears throat> as we got closer to the race, we started hearing these really scary <laughs> very sketchy stories uh, about Agua Caliente and Tijuana that the track was going to go out of business. So we started um, reading all about it and quickly we found out that the rate that the racetrack was owned by a prominent member of the cartel. And we're like, Oh crap, this is not good. <laughs> you mean to tell us that, um, you know, we'd wound up the, my buddy Dino and our other associate, uh, big burning, and wound up betting about $25,000 on her to win the Derby. We had a million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to collect, which is a lot of money, by the way, in 1988. Uh, and we, we're thinking now, oh, great. If we win, we've got to go to Tijuana and collect a million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars from the Mexican cartel. <laughs> uh, you know, wouldn't it be easier for them just to, you know, uh, not pay us or kill us or, you know, or pay us and rob us in the parking lot on the way out. So, you know, usually when you get these kind of horse stories, um, you know, they're kind of Disney-like, you know, and the, yeah. you know, the horse wins and everybody's cheering and everybody gets married and everybody's happy. This is not that kind of story <laughs> <laughs> because when, when she goes in the derby, uh, and I don't mind telling you that she wins the derby because that's not the end of the story. No, that's really no. when the story really heats up is now – my buddies and I have to go down to TJ and try to collect a million bucks from the cartel. And, and it was scarier than you can imagine because we had found out there was this journalist, a uh, guy named, um, his nickname was uh, the cat, yeah. El Gato. And he was a, the most famous journalist in all of Mexico, or I should say, or at least in, in, in Northern Mexico. And he was writing negative stories about the owner of the racetrack. And a month before our derby, his offices, the journalist's offices, are machine gunned in broad daylight, <laughs> and he survives. And this this crazy guy, instead of like backing off, digs in deeper and starts writing more stories uh, about the owner of the racetrack. And now, two weeks before the Kentucky Derby, he writes another big story, and he is murdered. <laughs> he shotgunned to death in broad daylight, and. The guys that shot him are arrested, and they turn out the guys that shot the journalist are the head of security for the Agua Caliente racetrack, and the, the racetrack's personal bodyguard are arrested for the murder. So now we know that not only is the racetrack owned uh, you know, by suspected cartel guys, that even somebody just writes a bad article in the newspaper winds up dead, what the hell is he going to do? The guys that try to win a million dollars from him, you know, on the derby. So we're scared to death. But you know, and the, and the story in the book goes on in detail. About, yeah, absolutely. You know, well, 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 let me know, ask what you. What we had to do, I certainly won't tell anymore. <laughs> well, when you read that story about the death of the reporter, what was going through your head? Was there talk about you know what? Even if we win, should we not go down and collect? What was going through you and Dino's head when you saw that report about the reporter? <laughs> yeah, that definitely crossed our mind. So yeah. <laughs> we're immediately trying to figure out. We're like going, we're like, okay, we'll we'll get like a Brinks truck. We'll get an armored truck, and then we check that out. And yeah, we can bring an armored truck, but we're not allowed to have armed guards. 
<laughs> then we thought, well, we'll get a we'll get an armed guards in Tijuana to bring it up for us. We're saying that's that's probably like paying somebody to rob you. Yeah. Um, it was so. What we did in, I think this is my favorite scene in the book, and a lot of people have it. We thought, well, okay, we'll be really smart. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go down and we'll actually watch the Kentucky Derby physically in Tijuana the day of the Derby because there's going to be like probably you know. 6,000 people in the race and sports book. They're not going to kill us right in broad daylight with 6,000 people watching us. That'll be smart. So we go down there, and if you can imagine being in a little teeny racetrack in Tijuana on a little teeny black and white television, watching the Kentucky Derby on a you know 16-inch television, knowing that you have a million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on the line, and we went down there. Winning Colors does win the Derby, but like I say, that's not giving away the end of the story. Um, and we we go to the windows and we tell them, you know, pay us, please. And they're like, no, we're not paying you today. Come back another day. We're like, no way we're coming back in another day. <laughs> I mean, you, you want us to come back like on, like on a Tuesday morning when nobody's here? I, I don't think so. So it was a really scary time. But... Uh, you know, like all gamblers, <laughs> we wanted to get our damn money. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was, that was the most interesting thing for the book for me was when you and Dino were trying to think of ways, you know, if we won this, how are we going to get the money out? I even You even talked about uh, using a guy called 20% Tim, which was very interesting. I mean, <laughs> with the, how long did those conversations between you and Dino last? I mean, were they weeks on end? Did you call each other every <laughs> week and say, how are we going to do this? I don't know that we, we they, they didn't last too long. Cause we usually did it like at a Mexican bar drinking margaritas or something. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, we just, we, we thought, we thought that we would, uh, you know, we thought we had it figured out, but we didn't. I mean, like I said, when I was reading the book, I was nervous for you guys. Number one, whether they were going to pay off the bet. Number two, how are you going to get your winnings out? But I was really concerned for your friend, big Bernie, who had even a bigger bet, than you guys on winning color. I think Big Bernie had the most interesting plan on what to do if he won. What was Big Bernie's plan, and did you ever consider doing what he was doing with regard to the winnings? Yeah, Big Bernie's plan, um, right at that time in 1988, they were evolving really into uh, sports gambling, particularly in Tijuana at the track. And his plan was if the horse should win, and mind you, a Philly had won once in 114 years, um, and by the way, has not won since. I'll show you how difficult it really was. Um, his plan was to deposit the money, and just leave the money at the racetrack in a sports gambling account and not even try to bring the money back into the United States, but he was planning on continuing his life <laughs> to become a rich man in Mexico and stay down there. We, 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 we wanted to get the money and get the hell out. I wasn't planning on spending a lot of time in Tijuana. Stick around. We'll be right back with House of Cards. Hey, this is Dave Weishato from House of Cards with your House of Cards gaming report for the week of January 2nd, 2023. Both Pennsylvania and Michigan reported record revenue for their online gaming markets. 
Pennsylvania's online platforms reported $155.9 million in gaming revenue, while Michigan hit $145.4 million in revenue from their online platforms. Pennsylvania's lifetime tax revenue is now approaching $1.1 billion, which is the most of any state that allows online casinos. FanDuel announced that customers can now access both paramutual betting on horse racing and sportsbook wagering with a single account becoming the first U.S. sportsbook with this feature. Currently, the merged wallet single account feature is only available for customers in New York, Illinois, Indiana, West Virginia, Maryland, Michigan, Wyoming, Colorado, and Virginia. Additional states will be added early next year. And finally, a Vietnam veteran won big in the Massachusetts Lottery Lucky for Life game. Raymond Roberts from Fall River purchased six tickets with the same six numbers and won. Roberts chose the cash option of $390,000 for five of the drawings, and for the sixth drawing decided to take the $25,000 a year for life. Some great lottery strategies in Massachusetts. Have any news or tips regarding casinos, gaming, or legislation? Send us an email at newsroom at houseofcardsradio.com and follow us on Twitter at HOC Radio. You're listening to House of Cards. I'm talking sick piles of money. I'm talking lay on your bed in your Vegas room, throw the money in the air, and dance as it showers down on you money. I'm talking frosted glass limo money. I'm talking big Cowboy hat, silver, turquoise buckle money. I'm talking gambling. I am in love with you. Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishaddle with you. House of Cards is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Slots, table games, live dealer games, everything you love about Atlantic City and Vegas, all online at BetMGM. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code Turnpike, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code TURNPIKE at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. For those of you just joining us, I am talking with Mark Paul, author of the book The Greatest Gambling Story Ever Told, A True Tale of Three Gamblers, The Kentucky Derby, and The Mexican Cartel. You know, g- give us a picture of what this racetrack looked like. I mean, you know, when you say racetrack, I think of I'm here in New Jersey. We have a lot of racetracks here. You're in California. You have the r- beautiful racetracks there. I-, I was trying to picture what the racetrack in Tijuana looked like. Give us a mental picture of what this racetrack looked like. Uh, well, you know, you know, Dave, that, that's what's kind of fun about the book, too, is that, you know, today everything's, uh, you know, it's great that things are becoming legal and all that, but it's also becoming kind of sterilized. Yeah. And this was not like that. Um, Albert Kelly was built, I believe somewhere around like 1920. And it was like Caesar's palace before there was Caesar's palace. It was magnificent and soaring ceilings. And they had a, a casino and a spa and a hotel. And it was, it was amazing, but it had fallen on very, very hard times. And I always say, I don't know if I think you guys remember that it was a really colorful movie called Planet of the Apes. And they go back to New York City and it's, it's you know, 200 years later and you see the Statue of Liberty, but it's three quarters covered in sand and the whole city is wiped out. That's a little like what Augur Caliente was. It was a, a shell of its former self. So you would walk through this cavernous, magnificent casino. If you can imagine walking through like, Caesar's Palace, but it's 200 years later, and it's you know, it looks like it's been bombed out in Beirut or something. <laughs> so it's you know, smoke-filled rooms, a lot of wild drinking going on, and you know, hot tequila pouring girls running around, and you know, you could you could drink the tequila off the girls' arms and stomachs or whatever, as long <laughs> as you tipped her well. And it was a wild kind of lawless kind of place. Um, and I think a lot of gamblers kind of appreciate just reading about, you know, the way things were at one time. It was, it was, it was, the, it, was it wasn't just the Wild West. It was the, the wild Mexican Wild West. <laughs> now, as you said, you, you did win the bet, and I'm not going to give away the ending part because it's an absolutely fantastic story about how you actually got your winnings. 
But I will ask, whose idea was it to get those bodyguards that you brought down? And did you know you were in trouble when you, <laughs> when you first set eyes on those bodyguards? I mean, did you think you were in trouble? Because I was thinking, man, these guys are going to get rolled. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got the brilliant idea when we couldn't, when we had to go collect the money. And we, you know, <clears throat> if we were not able to bring our own, like, brink security armed guards with us. Uh, a buddy of mine said, "You know, I know these guys. They're they're professional fighters, and they're really they're really tough." And we thought, "Well, you know, it's got to be good to go down with you know six guys. It's got to be better than two, and at least we'll have some." We, you know, we were call, we just call them the muscle, and we hired these guys, but we'd never seen them. And when they came to came to help us go collect the money, we didn't realize that they were like early Asian. MFF fighters, <laughs> and I think that the biggest guy was about 145 pounds. <laughs> they were tough as hell, by the way. I, I wouldn't want to mess with them. But let's just say they weren't going to intimidate anybody, you know, so we could take all the muscle and put them in one car <laughs> with yeah, right. us. So the muscle wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> I, I like the fact I knew you were in trouble going down there where because every time you went down there, you got auto insurance. So I was like, boy, there's no uh, safe part of this trip for you. I, I, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> it's true. I, I just figured, you know, I was I was actually more afraid in worrying about trying to collect the money. I was more worried about about what would happen after we had the money yeah. and got to the parking lot. I just thought that's probably when we're the most vulnerable. I got to say, it's a great story, and your book has a ton of endorsements. How has the reception been for the book? Well, thank you. It's, you know, I'm a first-time author, and it's really been amazing. I've sold nearly 20,000 copies. And everybody tells me, horse racing's dead, and, you know, it's not. It's just absolutely taken off. It's been, um, you know, it's called The Greatest Gambling Story Ever Told, and it's, num it's been number one in 10 separate Amazon categories. And wow. what's been surprising to me is, you know, I kind of expected to do well at number one in horse racing, but it's also the number one book in the country in horse racing, sports gambling, gambling, and a bunch of other things like sports biographies, organized crime, white collar crime. It's just really taken off. So it, it's really been fun. Um, also on my, on my website, if I can, um, markpaulauthor.com, there's a great 57-second uh, video, a book trailer video, and it's a really fun. Just click on that, and you'll be able to get the video. I, I posted the, the video up on Facebook, and I've had like 300,000 downloads of wow. it. So you know, maybe horse racing and gambling isn't, isn't dead. We just <laughs> needed a good story. Well, what's next for the book? I mean, I mean you'd make a great movie or a TV uh, show. What's next for the book? Well, I, I live in L.A., and again, I'm a first-time author. I just didn't know what the hell I was doing. But I, I wrote the manuscript, and I gave it to some uh, movie guys, because I'm in L.A., and there were, you know, there's more movie guys than, than anybody else here. Mm -hmm. And within, like, 10 days, I had optioned the book wow. to some very – the guys that did Lone Survivor are very big movie guys. So the book has actually been optioned um, for a possible like Netflix or other series, TV series, or a movie. I, I sure hope that happens. I think we got a good chance. I, I think it would be a really fun, colorful uh, TV series. I sure hope that, that ha hopes that happens. Mark, we're running out of time, but can you tell people how to get a copy of The Greatest Gambling Story Ever Told, A True Tale of Three Gamblers, The Kentucky Derby, and The Mexican Cartel? Yes, you really, it's so simple to find. I mean, the if you just go to my website, markpaulauthor.com, you can see it everywhere. But it's literally everywhere. It's on Amazon. It's, it's an ebook. It's a print book. It's a hard copy book. It's also a really cool audio book. If you like you know, consuming podcasts, you probably like audio books. It, it's uh, uh, on audible.com. So just go to my website. It's also on um, Apple Books. You really can't miss it. The, the greatest gambling story ever told. Uh, and I thank you, Dave, for having me on. Mark Paul, author of The Greatest Gambling Story Ever Told, A True Tale of Three Gamblers, The Kentucky Derby, and The Mexican Cartel. Thanks a lot for coming on and telling us about it. It's absolutely an amazing, incredible story, and everyone should pick up a copy of the book. Stick thank around. you very much, Dave. Stick around. We'll be right back with more House of Cards.
It's a casino. People gotta win sometime. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a giant, colorful check to deposit. Beating the House is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Slots, table games, live dealer games, everything you love about Atlantic City and Vegas, all online at BetMGM. Don't wait. Join in the fun now. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code TURNPIKE, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code TURNPIKE at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Grab a lion's share of the fun at BetMGM.com. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Welcome to another edition of Beating the House here at Turnpike Sports. I'm Doug Weishel here with Dave Weishel. We're going to take a uh, crisscross trip around the country, around the world, uh, discussing some of the uh, biggest casino and slot and bad beat, pie gal poker, table game, lottery, kino, whatever. If it's a big jackpot, we're going to be talking about it. Please keep the press releases coming in. Yeah, hey, by the way, I, I didn't win a jackpot, but I won uh, 20 bucks on this uh, thing called Magic of the Rings. I was on, um, uh, what is it, Bet Rivers, their uh, online casino. So uh, Magic per- of the Rings. Magic of the Rings. It that was, wasn't a Hobbit-inspired kind I don't, of deal, I, was it? Uh, I, kind of a wizard kind of thing to it, but uh, you no, know, it was... Uh, Middle-earthian? Uh, not, not even that. It was oh, just okay. a normal you know, real kind of thing. But, uh, no, it, it just it was at the top of the, um, they all, they always have the new slot machines or the new offerings they have at the online casino. So I tried a couple of the new ones. So it was interesting Then I had one, um, uh, what was it? Green something? Green right? tube. Green tube. Yeah, they had something. Uh, something about Apollo or uh, some it, of the best games. Green it, tube it, has been. Put yeah, out, I know. So. I, I really should have wrote down the yeah. name somewhere. But Gra- it was, graphics wise, Green Tube puts out some really good. Uh, graphic yeah, games. yeah, or you know, something Apollo Ten or something like that. It was a, a Greek gods kind of thing. So it was mythology a, based. Kind yeah, of thing. it was a mythology based kind of. So thing, was it so. Roman mythology or Greek mythology? Uh, yeah, it had the word Apollo in it. Uh, so Apollo. That's, that's, that's I Roman, guess that's Roman. That's yeah. Roman. So, so we're Greek. Okay. I don't even know. So, so it's it's not like a divine fortune kind of thing. Uh, I, I think kind of it was that kind it. of theme to it, but the it was huge. I mean, not only did it have like uh, four reels across the front, but it had an extra long thing on the side of the page where it was spinning too. So it was uh, yeah something about Apollo, and uh, okay. but it was I'll interesting. Have to check it out. Yeah. So that was well at, done, Green Tube. That was at Bet Rivers. Ah, uh, yeah, that was Bet Rivers. So, people, if you're playing on Bet Rivers online, take a look for yeah, it. really t- cool looking games. Yeah, what you're no, it, uh, yeah, you go, you go to their online uh, casino and they have all their new games up on top. Oh, they, on my screen, they had they had all the new games, and I uh, checked out a couple of new games. You know what? I'll see if I can find a picture and pop it up on the TV side. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. See you on the other side. Slip is empty. I got to call KG. KG, what I up? I got nothing for you, Fox. Oh, come on. What you got, huh? It is spa day, Jamie. You don't interrupt spa day. Ah, OK. Gracie, what's up? I need some tips. Jamie, you want a tip? Yeah. No. Oh, come on, somebody. Jalen, what's up, man? You want a tip? Yeah. You really want a tip? I really need some tips. Don't call somebody on live TV. Jamie Foxx. Well, you like answered. Have other friends anyway. Marshawn, Barry, holla. Jamie, 
Like, what's up, what's up, Listen, I need some tips. I might get LA. LA? No, 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 no. Dallas. No, Dallas. Dallas, Dallas, not the Dallas? Dallas? We gotta get Hold on. Miami. How about Detroit? Nah, where are you over there? You know what? I'm gonna call y'all right now. Baby. Vanessa, mm. I need your help. I got a tip for you. Always go with your gut. Mmm, I like that. Going with my gut. Let's go with our gut! No, people gotta win sometimes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a giant, colorful chick to deposit. Beating the House is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Slots, table games, live dealer games, everything you love about Atlantic City and Vegas, all online at BetMGM. Don't wait. Join in the fun now. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code TURNPIKE, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code TURNPIKE at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Grab a lion's share of the fun at BetMGM.com. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Why don't you continue what you were saying before the break? Let's start off. We're going to start off in Mississippi. I think we had one last week as well, uh, the Beau Rivage. Uh, we had Beau Rivage, didn't we? we or Beau either Rivage. last week or the week before. One of the previous episodes we had Beau Rivage. Yeah. We have now another jackpot. Wow. What the hell's going on with Beau Rivage? One... One million one hundred seventy nine thousand three hundred thirteen dollars and twenty two cents on a one dollar denomination Wheel of Fortune slot machine. Wow, at Beau Rivage Wheel of Fortune again, huh? Yep. Uh, she bet. Uh, she put in uh, according to the. Th- this is where it's a little confusing in the report. Um, the press release said that the woman who won the jackpot put in a forty one dollar sixty cent ticket into the okay. machine. All right. Um, did not say where, how much the bet was that okay. won the jackpot, but right. it was the progressive jackpot, one one point one seven nine million dollars. Wow, that's amazing. Um, so uh, <laughs> and congratulations. I just told I just told a story about how I won twenty bucks. Huh? And th- this is after the Look previous that, huh? jackpot we talked about. And here, here's I have it in my notes here. November sixteenth was the previous jackpot of two hundred seven thousand dollars. The woman from New York won the yeah, blackjack okay. progressive side bet. Okay, yeah, I remember it. Yeah. So uh congratulations to both of them. Yeah. yeah. Spending a lot of time in Mississippi all of a sudden. Yeah, well, it, well Beau Rivage. Boy, yep. what's uh, some uh, loose slots there, huh? Well we're jumping across the country to Washington State. Okay. Uh the area called Snoqualmie. Snoqualmie. Yes. All right. And we're going to the Snoqualmie Casino. Okay, this is a casino I've never heard of. This before. is an, a Native American casino. Okay, and um, over the Thanksgiving weekend, this jackpot happened. It was a one million thirty nine thousand six hundred thirty three dollar and seventy three cent jackpot. Playing Light and Wonders Five Treasures Explosion. Wow! Congratulations. And what's Some, it? there's something about the Thanksgiving weekend is everyone goes to the casinos and everyone gambles. That's when you always have all the stories about the jackpots. Well, I noticed something else about this story. It's the Five Treasures Explosion, and this is by Light and Wonder. Okay. Um, Light and Wonder also puts out the um, um, dancing drums yeah. kind of games. Yeah, yeah. They have the dancing drums, then they have the dancing drums explosion. Okay. And what we're going to talk about, I'm, I'm telegraphing this later on in the Jersey Jackpot segment because we have a segment for those. Okay. We have... Uh, a, win, a jackpot or two on Five Treasures. Okay. The different, mm-hmm. the earlier version of Five Treasures Explosion. All right. So we're seeing so does this Five look, Treasures. Does this look like a dancing drums thing? Yep. Okay. Yep. All they're, right. all, they're all similar games. Uh, they're all of themes. the dancing drums family kind of thing. Yeah. Is that what you can we? Uh... I would say the platforms are the same. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, going down to Nevada, we have Las Vegas, Four Queens Hotel and Casino. We have a lucky patron winning Seven hundred forty-eight thousand four hundred forty-one dollars and eight cents. Playing Aristocrats Buffalo Grand Slot. Okay, we haven't had a Buffalo branded slot jackpot lately, so they, they always seem like they're the first slot I see when I walk onto a gaming floor. Usually, they're like huge. They're like uh, they almost reach the ceiling in these some of these places, and they have the big buffalo on them. So, well, we're going to be leaving the West Coast. And going to Springfield, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Must be MGM, right? MGM Springfield. Yep. The only casino in that area. That's why I knew it was MGM. Um, soon to be 
one of the only sports books in that area, yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, the lucky winner of $235,790 hit a straight flush playing Ultimate Texas Hold'em Progressive. Okay. That's a table game. Yeah. That's not a video poker. That's not an actual poker. It's a table game progressive. Okay. Game. Going back over to Nevada, Gold Coast Casino. We have a person, a man, identified only as Anderson. That was the only name he gave. Just Anderson. Just Anderson. So. That was the name he gave. Uh, he was visiting with friends from Texas, and after lunch, the, his friend suggested he try Pi Gal Poker. Okay. So this first-time player. No way. A first-time player? I, don't, I, I might not even want to hear what he won. But, uh, he go drew. Ahead. Okay. A seven-card straight flush Whoa. with an ace-king in the hole. Wow. The hand was worth $152,768. Wow. First time he sits down to play this game. Wow. Um, it wasn't the first hand. It was a little while in. So okay. it, hey. wasn't, it wasn't a first hand hit. Good for him. That actually makes me feel a little bit better. So <laughs> never played the game, but he hit yeah. huge in a jackpot. I, I've only played it online. So, Well, staying in Las Vegas, we have... We haven't had a bad beat in a while. Okay. And this is your favorite bad beat, by the way. Oh, the Stations, Stations Casino? Casino? Yes. Yeah. We have. A, it's my favorite because when someone wins a bad beat, yes. it, the people win it on all the Station Casino poker rooms. Yes. Or all the way across town. So. Well, we have the Omaha bad beat progressive hitting once again at the Boulder Station. Boulder seems to be the epicenter of bad beats for the stations casinos, okay uh because we've had a couple from boulder station before okay uh, total payout for this bad beat was one hundred and four thousand nine hundred sixty dollars wow uh the guest with the bad beat by by the name of okay floyd i'm okay. assuming it means oklahoma that's kind of i don't know if it's okay or okay. oklahoma, oklahoma they, floyd. Didn't, they didn't clarify that O.K. Floyd. Great name for a gambler, by Oklahoma the way. Oklahoma Floyd. Oklahoma well, Floyd. Well, there, there was an old poker player who recently passed away not too long ago, Oklahoma Johnny Hale. Oh, yeah. We had him on our oh, other yeah, show, yeah. House of Cards. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but the uh, O.K. Floyd had the 5-4 of hearts, giving her a five-card straight flush. Nice. Good. She was beaten, and this is a day for interesting names. I'm going to have to say this right here. She was beaten by Vlitanu Mafi. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, and then Vlitanu, if I mispronounce your name, I do apologize, uh, held the King Queen of Hearts and had a royal flush. Okay. The losing hand, which was OK Floyd, she won $41,993. Wow. Great. The hand that beat her, the winning hand in the poker game, mm -hmm. Won twenty thousand nine hundred ninety seven dollars. Mm -hmm. As as everyone knows, bad beat the losing hand that gets that has is the, the winner beat, is yeah. the winner is of the, winner. the jackpot. Yep. Um, the thirty players playing Omaha at that time, mm -hmm. and these were only the players playing Omaha. Okay, okay. One thousand three hundred ninety nine dollars each. See? That's great. This yeah. was the second highest Omaha bad beat to hit at the Boulder. Wow. Okay. Uh, the highest one was March of last year. $107,000. So. Okay. And congratulations to everyone there. And for everyone else who's playing Omaha at Boulder Station, the bad beat jackpot was reset to $40,000 right after okay. the, the right. winning hand there. Staying in Vegas. All right. We have Caesars Palace. Um, this happened during the uh, World Cup, the USA World Cup. Okay. Um, the... Uh, Let's see. Player snared, no no name on the player, by the way. Player snared five aces on face-up Pi Gow. Two Pi Gow jackpots wow. today. Two Pi Gow pokers, yep. huh? Uh, main progressive jack, the major progressive jackpot, uh, $100,000, $858. Mm -hmm. $100,858. So five ace, uh, uh, I guess that's a... That's a five five of a kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So five aces, and um, he won the progressive jackpot of $100,000. Great. All right. Now we are doing our little Jersey jackpot rundown now. All right. We're yeah. going to end the segment with Jersey jackpot. And I'm going to keep quiet, and you can uh, run them down. you got a whole list well, of them. Well, if you see right? something you want to talk about, All tell right. me. Okay. Uh, November 11th, we're going $206,851.10. Got to include the 10 cents. Mm-hmm. 
on, on betfaircasino.com playing Divine Fortune. Yeah, I love that game. There's another game that's always kicking out. Uh, November 12th, $103,400 on borgatacasino.com playing IGT's Fortune Coin. November 13th, we had a pair of them, $200,000 on DraftKings.com playing Williams Interactive Five Treasures. There's where I was talking about. Okay. And then on Virgin Casino, on I'm sorry, this is actually kind of, we've never had this before. All right. $101,000, $101,925 on Pala Casino. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I don't think we've had a Pala nope. Casino. Never had a Pala oh. one before. NYX Gaming's Triple Double Da Vinci Diamonds. That's that's almost like a classic three reel kind of slot. Yeah, yeah. But it's online. So uh, going over to November fifteenth, we have one hundred twenty four thousand four hundred dollars. DraftKings dot com playing Everest Atomic Meltdown. One hundred fifty thousand dollars. One hundred fifty thousand two hundred ninety two dollars and sixty nine cents on VirginCasino dot com playing Deal or No Deal, which uh, the game manufacturer there is Ben Scott. Yep. Uh, November 17th, $100,250 on Hot Rock Casino playing scientific games. And this is the name of the game I always kind of screw up. Jin Zhao Bai Ji, Endless Treasure. Okay. If I say that correct, I'm, I'm very happy about my th about that. Uh, November 19th, your birthday. Yeah. yeah. $100,000 on BetfairCasino.com playing Alchemy Bets Slingo Extreme. All right. November 21st, $199,775.81 on Play MGM Casino's GVC Spin Bandit. Never, Never heard of that one. It's a classic slot. Okay. Kind of All thing. Right. Uh, November 22nd, $100,032 $100, on DraftKings.com playing Five Treasures again. Okay. Uh, $124,941.21 on BetfairCasino.com playing Divine Fortune. November 23, we have three jackpots to hit. Wow. $599,622.94. DraftKings.com playing NYX's Hypernova Megaway. Okay. hundred and twenty-five grand a Harris. This is the physical brick and mortar place. Harris Atlantic City playing the high limit Bally Quick Hit, which has a minimum uh, bet of 25 bucks. Oh, all right. That's the denomination starts at. Okay. High limit okay. slot. $100,000 on Betfair Casino playing NYX's Jinjiao Beiji. Okay. See, that's a big day to gamble. The, the night before Thanksgiving. Is that the night before the 23rd? Yeah. yeah, no, that's always a big night at a casino. Well, if I remember correctly, on the 23rd, there was at least, I want to say, a dozen jackpots of 50,000 or more, including yeah, yeah. what I just talked about. Everyone's playing that night. Yep. Uh, November 25th, the day after Thanksgiving, uh, 160000 at Borgata Lank City, playing IGT's double top dollars. November 27th and November 29th, both of these are on BetfairCasino.com. We have $168,350 and then $102,150, both on Every's Midnight Matinee, which is a brand new game. That yeah, came wow. The market. Two jackpots in two days? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Good playing the that. same game, same What casino. is it? Midnight Matinee. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's in a couple different places. Yeah, I got to check it out. So. But it, it just it just came out not too long ago, maybe a month ago, oh. two months ago, oh. and it's already paying out for a lot of people because I saw Midnight Matinee several times in the four-page wow. uh, spreadsheet that the DGE, well, I'm gonna Division write, Gaming Enforcement, <laughs> put that out. I'm so. going gonna, gonna to write it down and uh, check it out. Yep. Uh, that's it for this week's Beat in the House. Please get the press releases coming in, and we'll keep doing the segment. Well, that'll do it for us this week. I'll see you next time on House of Cards. Oh